You like to drink tequila, and so do we. Pour a glass as we learn about tequila together on this episode of The Tequila Tester. Hello, and welcome to this episode of The Tequila Tester. My name is Brent. And my name is Gary. See, look, I saw I Paul. I don't even say look that, at yeah, you like, no, like I was gonna say something because I you did that last time and now you're you said volleying last time. Yeah, we volleyed back we and volleyed. forth. You oh, like and that? guess what's guess what's going on right now? Wimbledon. Exactly uh, right. I there's, was just in London. There's the volley. Guess how much tequila I drank in London? Ooh, how much? Zero. I believe you gotta drink beer, man. There's like a bar on every <laughs> single corner. Yeah, yeah. We're we're about to ship some tequila to the UK. Oh, you are at the beginning of next year. Yeah, nice. They need <laughs> it. They we need it. About <laughs> compete with the beer. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Yeah. yeah, but what's up, world? Welcome back to Tequila History. I'm the co-host Gary Lee, also known as G Hawkins. Of course, you can find me anywhere online. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Man, that that was not natural at all. You just shoved that in there. Yeah, like <laughs> real fast, <laughs> like boom. <laughs> oh, get this in. Hey, get, can I just shove mine in there too? Of course. Like I'm about to shove some tequila in my yeah, mouth. Agave. Yeah. Agave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So tequilatester.com. You can go to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, YouTube. Did I say Facebook already? You did. You know, can I say it again? Yeah, you go can. to Facebook. <laughs> yeah. uh, but tequilatester.com, you can listen to all our past episodes. Uh, but today, we have a guest, uh, Julio Gomez. He's with Toro de Lidia. Julio. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Yep. So, Welcome to the show. Yeah, so ready to drink some tequila. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, that's the point. Tequila tester. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, so Toro de Lidia, that's fighting bull, right? Yeah, that's a species of the bull that's used for bullfighting. Yeah. It's the actual species. Can you tell tell us a little bit about the history of the fighting bull? The fighting bull, well, it's um, or the it, company. Well, the the company, uh, basically, the the owner of the brand is Fernando del Toro, so his last name's Toro. Oh, well, that's natural. you know Guillermo natural. del Toro, <laughs> the 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 director of those oh. scary movies, and the, the, oh, yeah. uh, Guillermo. Oh, yeah. That's his cousin. Oh, really? Nice. So How about the, that? Oh, look at it's this. The same family. Nice. And uh, and so he came to me with this project. And I used to work with another company out of the same place. It was the first organic tequila in the world, Cuatro Copas. So we started bringing that in, and then that something happened to those guys. So we started working with these, with the Toro de Lidia, and we were working on the on the flavors and the casks. And so we decided to do French and American oak. You no, know? so yeah. we started aging, and and this this one in particular, the Extrañejo, uh, this batch is ten. I mean, it's nine years old. Oh wow! It's a nine year old wow. Extrañejo. I'm so that, excited. And you know what? Yeah. <laughs> and so then that, uh, that, that's actually the only one of the the lineup that I haven't tasted yet. Oh no, so. my God! This this you're gonna freak out. And then uh, <laughs> and then Hopefully. of course the uh, after uh, an Añejo's uh, one year to three years, uh-huh. right? That's an Añejo. So this is a two and a half year old uh, Añejo. Very nice. So the Extrañejo's nine, two and a half. Um, uh, the the añejo, and then we have nine months in a French and American, a French and American oak uh, barrel. So mm-hmm. we do we age nine months, nine months, and then we put them together. Oh, okay, that's no, cool. so it's fifty fifty. And and you have a blanco also that's not here, so we have all of them. So it the blanco better. didn't make it today. Couldn't. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, all he it was blanco he was, was stuck busy. in traffic. <laughs> 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 But <laughs> but I got the rejon that's from Look the same. That. He, he made up for it. Yeah, mm-hmm. we, he, it's from the same family. Okay. But uh, the rejon comes in at forty four percent alcohol, oh, so wow. it's closer to a mezcal. I'll have to try that one. And uh, and it's it just it's it's the same uh, as the Toro de Lidia, just a higher proof. Okay. Well, well let, let's no. try the Toro de Lidia first, and we'll talk yeah. about the processes. Um, so. The Blanco's not here, but I I often see the Blanco on list. It's like best tequilas under thirty dollars or mm-hmm. under twenty five dollars. It yeah, seems it's like it's like twenty one something. Yeah, it's super affordable. Mm-hmm. And um, I I haven't used it in many many margaritas. Well, we did that on purpose because I wanted everybody to try good tequila. No, I didn't want it just to be for people that can afford a forty dollar bottle. Mm-hmm. And me, I'll drink you know a few bottles of tequila a week. So oh, wow. it's like that's a lot of uh, <laughs> heavy on the pocket. Yeah. Like, that's you know that's heavy on the pocket. I'm on so. I'm on your pace now, huh? No. <laughs> you might you like, might got me beat you know, by a little I bit. I want everybody to taste something. So how let's make it affordable. Yeah. Like as far as like not not have all these guys in your company trying to make money. It's just me. And and the and the owner of the tequila and that's it. The, yeah. the that's producers. great. Producers. So there's no middleman. There's no nothing. We just bring it all in, so we can bring it out at a good price for everybody. That makes sense. That's great. Yeah. You know? Makes a lot of sense. You know, and and of course, agave prices and everything are fluctuating because, 
you know, it takes so long for the plant to mature. Yeah. And, and all the agaves. So there's a lot more demand. So, you know, it's getting squeezier. You know, they're squeezing the plant, like, the most out of every plant. So is this uh, highlands, lowlands? This is lowlands. Lowlands, okay. So we're trying to just preserve it. That's why we don't want to go crazy and, and, and ship out of more, like, grow so much that we can't keep up with the quality. Yeah. So, you know, we want to keep it nice to where it is. And then on the... the um, 2021 the new batch comes out all the new plants you know that are they're ready to harvest so yeah. in 2021 we'll have a whole new set of of uh, plants nice. <laughs> that we're going to be drinking and how many <laughs> acres are we talking about it's about a hundred thousand yeah wow. it's a lot God, yeah. that is crazy. It's, the, it's, it's a insane. sea yeah, of plants of yeah yeah mm -hmm. i just got i just got back from mexico and I, I took a train through central uh -huh. mexico and there's just the fields and fields they even have them in the ditches like the side roads, like mm -hmm. growing. They're everywhere, yeah. Yeah, it's just insane. Yeah, it's, it's basically when the, 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 the middle, the flower comes out, that's when you cut them. Because that's when the sugars are at its their max. Because yeah, they're gonna produce and die. They're just gonna they're reproducing. Yeah. So that you need to cut that so the sugars stay in the piña. So you need to let some reproduce. Yeah. You know, and then some are clones. So that's when you cut it. and That's when you get the most out of the plant. If awesome. not, it's it's green or it, you'll have bitter taste. If it's bitter, it's because it was too young. They cut it too early. Mm, you know, okay. it needs to be have it needs to be creamy. It needs to be like very uh, herbal, planty. You know, mm -hmm. not yeah. so much bitter. The bitter. Okay, well, let, let's taste the reposado. All right. And then we can talk about it. So this is French and American Salud. oak. Salud. Nine months. Salud. Salud. Ah. <laughs> to everybody out there. <laughs> if you're watching the video on YouTube, of course. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah. You, it was funny. You mentioned the word creamy earlier, and that was the first thing I thought when I tasted it. I was like, oh, it's kind of creamy. Yeah, it, it's, what's that, that soft drink that's like something, something, so, soda, cream, cream, cream yeah. soda. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cream soda. It's like yeah. a cream, I mean, you, you, if you think about it, it can kind of be a, like cream mm -hmm. soda. A dangerous And cream you mentioned soda. nine months in American oak and nine months in, in French, French. And then put together. And then put that's together. It. I've never Wait. heard anyone take two barrels and put them together is to that, make one product. They do that a lot in whiskeys, I think. Is that for but all of them? Multi-cask, they call it. Mm. Is that for all all of them or is that for that's for uh the reposado mm -hmm. and the añejo the extra it's too too old it just stays on in one, one cast okay. that's bourbon but multi yeah, cast. It, it'll you don't yeah you will you would if you mix a reposado with an extra añejo it becomes a reposado it, it goes to the lowest yeah. common denominator gotcha. so well, 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 we've seen Steven. where they age in the the oak barrel and then they put it in a wine barrel for mm -hmm. a little bit mm -hmm. to finish it off so yeah but, but i don't know how they yeah that's that a works. lot but yeah. yeah why do you want to do that i mean it's <laughs> I, I mean, but everybody's asking that, like, you, st you start playing it, but what if, oh, man, I made a mistake, there yeah. goes nine years, and... Uh, and <laughs> you don't, no. don't so, want to do that at all. Know, I don't want to start over. <laughs> there goes nine years. <laughs> there goes nine That's years. That's like the quote of the show. Hey, what was the, I doing nine years ago? eight years of the plan. It's like, you're already talking 17, 18, 18 years. Like, no, I, I don't wow. know. Wow. Just keep That's it really in one. good, though. Yeah, uh, so with the, the barrels, do they have a charred? What, what yeah, they're charred. Charred? Mm -hmm. So, are, do they come pre-charred? You char them? They come pre-charred. Pre they're, they're used. Yeah. So, we try to get them just used. So we use them like twice because mm -hmm. you want the flavors of what it was in before, sure. either cognac sure. or a bourbon. Now, are no. you willing to say where you're sourcing these barrels from? Oh, they they they're from all over. All over. Okay, uh, yeah, that's a great. Answer. But usually, it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, they're um, Jack Daniels. Okay. Um, there's also uh, what's the other one? Jim Beam. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Buffalo Trace. Yeah, they're all yeah. the same. Some people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. And there's a lot of trade that's, going that's on. Pretty common, huh? And now now they want to age like we're starting to make barrels <laughs> made in Mexico, or or getting the wood from barrel makers in the U.S. But all this all what's left over. So let's say it's a, a piece of you know a strand you know this much and there's so much left over. Mm -hmm. We're taking them to Mexico and making little barrels. Oh really? And aging. You know, faster in little barrels. Ah, Very interesting. So you can replicate that, yeah. that time. Faster. But then, then those you have to char. But then after they've been aging in, in mezcal or, or in, in in tequila, now the guys over here want those barrels to age their stuff into. <laughs> it's it's, it's kind of it's, it's creating yeah. something in, for the future. Yeah. yeah. No? I don't yeah. know if we're talking about char so much. I can kind of I smell that char you, you in do? a barrel. It's in there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's, that's why. A, that's just in the reposado too. You said how long was it? Age? Nine months. Nine months. Yeah, under a year. Oh, that's nine months. That's pretty long, right? Yeah, Some for a reposado. Long, it's yeah. two, I think three months is the yeah. the limit. Like that's the the least it has to be in. That's good though. 
a good representative. Yeah. Almost. Tastes almost like an Añejo. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Close, yeah. That's why with it's this, right on the, the I skipped the Añejo. I went straight to Extra Añejo. I, I just had Blanco, Reposado, and, and Extra Añejo. Mm. All right. Because because of that, exactly. That makes sense. All right, so we have... This is yours. Yes. Thank you. So we now have the uh, Añejo. Mm-hmm. And can you tell us a little bit about the label? The label, um, it's the, the owner's artist friend that made it and okay. we're, we're coming out with a new bull like each bull's gonna be looking and doing something different oh, that'd be uh, nice because okay. this bottle's been around a while right that's been 10 years with that yeah bottle. so we just did it like a little makeover so now each bottle the bull's gonna do something different you know just okay Very <laughs> nice. like it's motion Are you or changing something the bottle design at all like the no, it's, no it stays the same it's only the art on the on the bull now do you ever find any shelving issues with the bottle that high you know, I'm allowed to kill about, yeah, that's all. Only so. in bars and restaurants, and okay. we yeah. basically are not in bars and restaurants. Yeah, gotcha. so we're just in the liquor store. Okay. Yeah, uh, I mean, bars and restaurants like short bottles exactly. that fit in the bin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is just a classic. You can grab your hand around it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's you know for you for your house, smoking a cigar, or eating something sweet or something. <laughs> that's <laughs> a good <Because>. pairing. <laughs> Very good pairing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we have the and then let's taste it. Salute. 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 Oh yeah, lots of barrel on this one i'm gonna talk while everybody's sipping because it's usually quiet <laughs> oh yeah. yeah i love yo so here's my thing <laughs> I, I get excited i'm gonna wind i can't wait to the extra and yeah but i'm a uh-huh. wine drinker right but uh-huh. for everyone who's tuned in right now you know that i, I love wine so anything that starts to get very flavorful, um, the, with the, it's very barrel friendly, is what mm-hmm. I'm calling it. Like I fall in love. So I'm mm-hmm. I, I'm already. This tastes like someone else's extra in your hell, mm-hmm. which excites uh, yeah. me. What, what exactly. Was that, what was the aging again? That was a uh, two and a half years. It's almost. Yeah, like, man. That, <laughs> that yeah, it's almost. It's y'all almost go like, right to the edge, right? Yeah, we're almost at the end. But the, but f- then all our extras are way more. Like they're five. I'm sorry. I mean, you. you, you <laughs> I mean, you sell these for incredibly low prices, mm-hmm. and you're aging them for so long. I mm-hmm. mean, how do you, how do you justify that? that that's we only we only uh, uh, sell in Texas. That's why. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, if we were selling all over the place, it would be impossible. Yeah, yeah. it would be impossible. Yeah, but it, but it, but it gives you a distinct flavor profile. One mm-hmm. and two, and it makes you stand out am- amongst the crowd because no one's aging that long to g- have that significant and unique s- taste. Yeah, and it goes back to that. I want everybody to taste an awesome tequila. Yeah, and be able to afford it. If not, I mean, who can? I just saw a. Uh, an extra añejo for four hundred dollars is like, oh my god! You wow, know? that's a no. I mean, <laughs> you know, that's an maybe extra if you no. want to get, we need your, to have them on the show so we, they can give us some <laughs> free some, some free <laughs> <laughs> But it's just, it's not going to be any better, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. It's just uh, it's just you know, they just uh, throw a price how, on it. Who's going to be? How many people are going to taste it? You know? Very and true. sometimes yeah. people buy an expensive bottle and don't even open it. Yeah, and, and uh, so so when you crush it, it's a roller mill, right? Yeah. Yes. Roller mill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, only in mezcal do we have um, the animals doing that, and and also, yeah, we have uh, with a sotol some some animals are used to to crush. Yeah, I like but that. but uh, and great on this one. Tequila, it's it's industrial, so yeah, there, yeah. there's machines. Okay, helping. That is great. <laughs> there's like ricea, it's all hand, everything's hand, and, and no no got, animals. What about the agave? Animals. How long do they cook them for? And uh, usually it's. <sighs> Two days, three yeah. days, d- depending on the weather. If it's raining a lot, you mm-hmm. know. But okay. yeah, because they're they're stone ovens, so they, you know. Yeah. And it, it's wood, so it it does vary on the, but usually, uh, on the climate. But usually, it's two to two to three days mm-hmm. maximum, and that goes for everything, mezcal, everything. And are y'all mm-hmm. sourcing your yeast locally, or y'all have? No, it's yeah. natural occurring yeast. Oh, really? We don't okay. add Is yeast. It, it's open fermenters. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. open. Uh, wood. Uh, no, they're they're stainless steel, steel for the, for for the the okay. this tequila. It's really? wood for the mezcal, mm-hmm. and 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 wood for the. I mean, and they're uh, stainless steel for the <coughs> tequila. And so it's just uh, whatever the natural temperature is, whatever it's outside. That's mm-hmm. that's what you get. Yeah, we're not adding anything because once you start adding, the f- what gives it the flavor, like in beer. Is the yeast? Mm-hmm. The yeah. yeast is like if you sometimes you taste a beer and it, oh it tastes like apple. They don't even put apple in it. That's just the yeast that they're using. The taste makes it taste cit- citrusy. Mm-hmm. So we don't do that, you know, because then you have to have like a the yeast in a in a compartment where you just grab from that. And that's like your mother yeast. If not, yeah. every bat's gonna taste different. Yeah, yeah. And I, I've talked about it on the show. I'm a big beer guy. I, I've home brewed before, and so that that's why the yeast questions come up before on the show, and. 
uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about this because it seems kind of, well, I'm going to talk about it anyway. <laughs> they let me do it. so <laughs> They let you do yeah. it. So when I went to, um, I just won't name the place, but there it is. So when I, went there, for I climbed up on a ladder and they had the um, open air fermentation going on. And they said I could stick my finger into the fermentation while oh. it's happening. Uh oh. And taste You're it. You're going to contaminate everything. Yeah, but I, I guess because it, after it's, it has to go through the distillation process. So oh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, of course. It's fine. Yeah, but I you shouldn't know, because but it affects. Because we, we have. It, it, yes, and it tasted like. You could taste Beer? the sugars were gone because mm. we had previously chewed on agave. Oh, yeah. Uh. And then you go through there and you. It's fermented, so the sugars oh, are cooked oh, out. But it's already fermented. It's no, not fermenting. It's, no, it's fermenting. It's bubbling. Oh, okay, it's bubbling. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's in fermentation yeah. process. Yeah. And it lets you taste the yeast. Yeah, and, but you can taste the sugars are cooked out, but you can still taste it. has like a beer quality. The and bitters. It's like a bitter beer, like yeah, an IPA. Yeah, right, yeah. So oh. it, it's before it became... I mean, before the distillation process, but I'm sure that that what was that temperature? I mean, that's got to to boil. Uh, it's got to be well. When 200. you start, it should be 170 degrees when you start. Yeah, getting so the, you're cooking the drip, out the drip. My finger, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, goop or whatever I touched no, it, earlier. That, yeah. it, that, that doesn't <laughs> like it won't affect the taste. It, it affects the yeast if you do that because yeah. we have like yeast killers on our hands. Yeah, mm. I think this was almost done. And I was surprised. Yeah. But if somebody's going to tell me I can do that, yeah. you're what am do I going to do? <laughs> yeah, you're going to do it. Yeah. No, I would get a whole mug and <laughs> drink. Cause it's I like, would have, It's yeah. like 9% nine, 9 alcohol when it's like that. Oh, man. Yeah, it's it's a beer. It's, a, it's tepache. They call it tepache. Tepache. Hmm. There you go. Well, we have Thanks. the extra añejo, like I said before. I haven't tried it. <sighs> so we're at the extra already? The yeah. cream de la cream. Salud. Everybody, salud. Oh, and look, it's like a cognac. Oh, my God. That's also, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! All the oh yes, my God. the 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 caramel notes, everything, just oh the vanilla, God. right? Yes. Oh yes, right. It's like sitting with your grandfather smoking a cigar and eating pecans. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Sounds this like a sherry phenomenal. or something, right? This is phenomenal. <laughs> I'm s yo, yeah, I like the man. The aromas that gets me. This is tequila. Wow. <laughs> this is tequila. <laughs> yeah. Nine years, this is tequila. No. Yeah, I love nine it. years, that's crazy. Yeah, this is the, the batch. I mean, we can't put it on the bottles because once we go through the batch, like it's 10,000 liters. Yeah. Then, we, you know, we have a five-year-old or, you know, six-year-old. Mm. So we can't be changing the bottle every single time. Sure. But this batch, this lot, is that it's the nine. Nine years. Wow. That is excellent. And you make these in... Probably not this one, but you make the other ones in bigger format bottles too, right? We do the 1.75s, the half gallons, yeah, yeah, but it's only Blanco and Reposado. Okay. No, I'm impossible. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we're out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody's going to come back on a video and be like, no, that's not tequila. If it's nine years. <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever nine years. It was in a barrel. What, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, well, that happens though. a lot. You open up these barrels and there's nothing in there, everything's evaporated. So, that's why it gets expensive, mm -hmm. you know, and because because of the length of time. That oh, I'm curious about that too. Uh, so the barrels, right? So, and there, there's it's called something I can't remember what it's called, but the merma or the the, the devil's cut or what? yeah, no. yeah, the devil's cut. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it's the angel's cut because it goes. Cut. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because it goes up in the air. The yeah, devil's cuts in 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 the barrel, like it's in the wood. Yeah. So mm -hmm. do they? So is there? I know with beer they. So when it evaporates, sometimes they'll add beer back to fill it because oxygen is not good. You but cannot for, do that. You can't? No. Oh, okay. So maybe oxygen does not affect. Remember what I told you that if you put a reposado in with an extra, it becomes a reposado. Mm -hmm. oh, so okay. you, so right. you're going you're, you're so to you're gonna start gonna all over again. Dilute it, basically? Yeah. yeah. So you just got to get what, what's okay. in there and, and put it together with all yeah, the other It's probably barrels. not. Oxygen probably doesn't have an effect on it. No. No. It's just, it's just the particles that are just bouncing real slow. Every time it's slower... And then, you know, some come out and they yeah. seep out. Do you know how much is lost, though? Like, ah, it's a lot. It's maybe 30, every year is a percentage. Yeah. But maybe 30%. Wow. You know, it's a lot. Yeah. That is a lot. <laughs> no, in nine years. over so nine years. Yeah. That's a, that's a long yeah. You're, and, and it goes through the barrel, like, depending on what barrel, how they take care of it, mm -hmm. how often they, they move them, mm -hmm. et cetera. You know, they have to keep them moist so the, the wood's, yep. you know, it's stretched out. You know, there's a lot of little things. Yeah, and the temperature at where you're keeping the 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 cask. So oh, if you're keeping it out in the air, like open air, like in your garage, then it's gonna be coming out. If it's underground and it's cool, you know, then it's gonna be a lot slower. Yeah. Okay. So it, it all it depends on how where you're storing. Yep. Nice. And it obviously affects price. All those variables. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. 
Well, we now, moved, we moved through these pretty quickly. Well, good. All right, so I've got ten minutes to taste some mezcal. And <laughs> so there's four extra bottles over here. <laughs> so, so I got some mezcal. This mezcal just got uh, 95 on the wine enthusiast. Oh like wow! It's, uh, here, I'm gonna give a. If you need a dump you. some. Uh, um, which is. So then here we're gonna taste the blanco, <laughs> the blanco same family that makes the Toro de Lidia, uh -huh. but now we're doing rejon and it's at 44 percent ABV. Oh, wow. Which gets you closer to the mezcales, because tequila is a mezcal. Yeah, no? Let me hold mm -hmm. this up real quick. So it's tequila rejon? Yeah, rejon. And 44%. Yes. There it is. So the 44% the gives it more oils of the plants, because it, we're drinking a vegetable oil. Okay. So basically. Yes, so they don't add back, like, uh, demineralized uh, water or anything? Exactly. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Oh, wait a minute. Let me. Hello. I got hey, drink, don't. Oh, hey, there don't, you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say if you. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. It's the tequila tester, oh, baby. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so this is close to going to be stronger, but yeah, at, at the, 44. The greenness, the exactly. herbalness, mm -hmm. the. Exactly. Oh, the yeah, plant. Yeah, the plant, yeah. So, and because of the 44%, you're actually like really living the the taste of the plant without yeah. any wood yeah so added. so our last episode i think it was our last episode we had fortaleza the the steel strength mm -hmm. and it was 46 percent. but mm -hmm. that's what you get you get that herbalness the mm -hmm. plant the greenness mm -hmm. we did it several we did it at 50 at 48 at 46 we thought 44 was just just right yeah no and how many t it's is it just distilled once oh, it has to be still twice. twice yeah mm -hmm. it has to be a minimum right mm -hmm. yeah so, you know, it's it's oh still God. smooth and it's 44. It doesn't burn. And it's like, come on, you know, it's super oily. <laughs> it is. And that yeah. is, that, you, all, you can taste all 44%. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've seen that. No, and then since it's 44, you can it catches on fire so you can cook with it. Like you can it catches on, your, on, fire. on your shrimp. And <laughs> you, 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 can you light, put that on the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> it catches on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can put it on with shrimp and stuff and boom, you know, just boom. flambe. Bam. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah mix some tequila flambe, mm -hmm. and we'll so we can go faster. We have two oh minutes. Gosh. Oh no, let me see. So same thing, reposado, still aged in French and American oak. Okay, but and this the, time it gave it more like a rye because of oh, the and forty. It's still, and it's still forty-four percent. Uh, yeah, and it's forty-four percent. And this is all the re is rejon? Is that yeah, yeah, this is a rejon. rejon. And it's basically the same family, same thing, but at yeah, 44. Same, same nom. Yeah, same nom. Yeah. You said these are found in New York, is that correct? These are found in New York. I just got into San Antonio. Okay. And uh, and and the Toro de Lidia is found all over Texas with specs. Yeah. And and well, the Sotol is found with Total Wines and More all over Texas. Okay. And Mortal is uh, right now we're only in New York, but we're about to be in also in San Antonio. Are you in every single specs? Because I think in every, every single yeah, because I, I see it everywhere. Yeah, I, I'm in every single specs. I yeah. I drove around for years delivering to every single store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that it's, until it's I broke everywhere. my back. I just had back surgery, so uh -huh. I can't do that anymore. So I, we'll see what I can do. It. Now tequila, just stuck tequila, tequila, tequila is good. Yeah, it's good for <laughs> back surgery, home. right? Yeah, no, that's the only way I, I feel no pain. <laughs> yeah, I drove pretty. I came in, you know, and uh, I was like, "Oh my god, I gotta get out of the car. I'm almost there. I'm almost there." Mm -hmm. and then traffic jam. It's like, yeah. oh, I guess not. <laughs> hey, how long did it take you to get here? Uh, more than five hours. Yeah. Man, that's mm -hmm. dedication. We appreciate that oh, for yeah, sure. Definitely hauling a half of an eighteen wheeler worth full yeah, of tequila. <laughs> But also, also smooth, right? Very smooth. Very smooth. As a matter of fact, I like this. Uh, I like this a lot. I, I may like this a little bit better than the Reposado earlier. Yeah, because that one's, I don't know why at the 40%, it, it's a little bit fuller. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is a little bit lighter. Yeah. No? I think the Gabe just pops through a little more. Maybe. I think so. There, so there is. Like depend this. on your taste. Because like, mm -hmm. I've had people who like mm -hmm. the very smooth stuff once it once you start getting more agave in it they yeah. start like hey, whoa whoa what what is this like <laughs> you don't happening? recognize it as much well now we're going into oaxaca where i started i started with mezcal and i kind of we haven't had any mezcal on the show yet yeah Never? this is the first yeah 
don't so, think I've so ever had any mezcal. Te- tequila is a mezcal. Yeah. Me- mezcal, the word means <clears throat> mes, is like the maguey, the plant. Okay. It's cali, it's to cook, like caldo, okay. to cook the plant. You get all the flavors out, the sugars out, you know? So that's what mezcal is. So tequila, everything's a mezcal because you're cooking it to get out the sugars. Gotcha. Right? Gotcha. So, so so do you want to talk about what separates mezcal from tequila? Well, it's just a denomination of origin because tequila is more like a, a European thought of industrialized um, idea, you know, of, yeah. of, of market. So they got the mezcal and they said, okay, we're only we're an, we're gonna an- analyze all the plants and see which one gives you the most sugar. The most, the one that gave us the most sugar in the shortest amount of time was the tequila no Weber. That's why they industrialized this one. Gotcha. Here we're eating a uh, espadín that's very close to. Um, a tequilano Weber plant mm-hmm. that, that it matures faster than all the other ones. But all the other mezcales, especially the sotoles, uh, this this right here, the sotol, these plants are from 18 to 22 years old. Oh, wow. No, it's a whole different ballgame. And the espadín also matures around seven to eight years, just like the tequilano. That's why they use it for mezcal. But then there's the madrequiche, tobala, tepestate, and arroqueño. They take 25 years to mature. Wow. You know, so then you're, you know, and if you're going to make an industry, you can't make it off a plant that matures in 25 yeah, years. Yeah. So basically Not that's scalable. why there's all these different species. And if you know about the species, you, you, you understand about the plants and then you appreciate what you're drinking. Okay, Amazing. Gary. That's why you don't want to age a mezcal because it tastes so long to, no? Yeah. Okay, Gary, you know what that word is right there? Which one? The one that starts with an O. With an O. Okay. O- Oaka? <laughs> <laughs> well, here you go. This is great stuff. This is the one I told you that. Salud. Oh, yeah. The Pick up some sweetness wow. from it. It's That's even totally a, different than what I would. Yeah. Wow. What is that? That's great. Right? It's sweet. Yeah. It's cooked. It's This one is cooked underground with mesquite. So, basically, they put a bunch of rocks in. Mesquite. They get the mesquite in there. They, 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 they light it on fire. Get the rocks, like, red, red hot. Yeah. And it's a cone. So, they start putting the plants around like this on and they cover it up and mm-hmm. they, they suffocate it and keep the smoke and the heat in there so it cooks there for two or three days yeah, sometimes five smokiness yeah so this is like barbecue yes. <laughs> yeah that's oh that's, yeah. yeah it's cooked oh, like i'm the, barbecuing this week yeah, this is barbecue <laughs> you know no? yes indeed and the more you said that the more the that so smoke that came big, out you know, just like, i like that but first it's first sweet think, yeah there's, there's a lot of character sweetness but no the smoke is in there no yeah, it's, it's a little character yeah. Great for mixing drinks, like you know, all everything you know that's like a a gin or something that's really with a lot of flavor. You make the drinks with this, like yeah. a, a Ramos Jim Fizz, or yeah. a, I've had I've had margaritas a, with them too. Mm-hmm. Like, but also uh, anything that you do with whiskey also goes good with this. Okay, because uh, you know the peat, because yeah. the smoke, you know. And then before we run out of time. The sotol, so this is the Dazzlerium. This one's called Cedrosanum. That's the species that's it. Like this was an espadín, mm-hmm. and there's Tequilana Weber. This is a Cedrosanum. But there's there's a Leophilium Texanum, and there's other there's a whole d- different diversity of plants that are that make up sotol. Okay. They call it the desert spoon. The desert and, spoon. And so on, this is a whole different plant. It, they call it an agavasia, but it's more like an asparagus. No. Okay. It looks different. Yeah, well, it reproduces and looks different. I mean, it looks the same, just yeah. thinner leaves. Okay. It still has a shoot in the middle. But I'm still um, smelling the smoky the one smoke. over here. I'm like but envisioning some pineapple, <laughs> oh, habanero, yeah. margarita with oh, this. Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. So this one, since it's uh, it, it comes from a different family, it's a different. You you only get like from the Tequilana Weber plant and from the Espadín, you probably get about eight liters or more per plant. Okay. Here you only get two liters per plant, so you need hmm. oh, so much. It has very little sugar. Gotcha. No more plants. Yeah, more plants, mm-hmm. and they're all wild. So hold this up to the camera oh. for yeah. our YouTube subscribers. Yeah. Yeah, you need to have a, and that's the one that that's with Total Wines. There it is. And that's also like 40%. eighteen dollars for a twenty-two year old plant. <laughs> Because, I mean, basically, who's going to... Uh, there's a lot of sotos out there that are, like, 50, 100, and it's like, man, nobody even knows what it is. Let's give it a break. And let's let's that do something. Yeah, and this is only market. distilled once. Oh, once? Okay. You got the price tag still on this thing? <laughs> you got snagged it. <laughs> yeah. So this is a whole different ballgame. Totally different. Totally different flavor profile. Um, but oh, yeah. a different species of a plant. It's a different species. 
And distilled once, so probably it. More, you have that more is something, yeah. But you see how you can taste like a plant, like a, I mean, like an olive. You can, <laughs> see, uh, right? You can think mm-hmm. of all kinds of, but it's more towards a vegetable. It's very, you know. Yes. Yeah. Well, Julio, man, I appreciate you bringing out all this. Yeah. It's incredible. <laughs> yeah, yeah we definitely. Just taste <laughs> definitely. We just did a little bit something different over here on the tequila tester. We got yeah. some. Yeah, this is a all around flavors. Just <laughs> we just and we just Monty. like ran through it like we. <laughs> Bull rush through the whole <laughs> yeah. thing, right? <laughs> yeah. We toro de lidia, <laughs> right? We're like, we, we're like, we toro de lidia, todos los días, totally awesome. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> exactly. Do you want to tell us where where we can find you? Um, well, with uh, WT Imports uh, at Instagram, uh, that's my my import company. Uh, also with through Toro de Lidia. And um, I don't know what else can I can they find me. Your ins- uh, Toro de Lidia Instagram. Uh, Toro de Lidia Instagram. Toro de Lidia. Te- Tequila Toro de Lidia yeah, yeah, Instagram. Go. Sorry. And the website too. And yes, yeah, the website. And if you're and on YouTube, you can see him scrolling through. Oh, and the one thing I just want to mention real quick. I love how when you click on products, it has how much your palette weight is and everything. Are people? Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> like if you want to buy pallets of it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, the pallet weight. <laughs> <laughs> Very like nice. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, I appreciate everybody watching. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you can go to tequilatester.com. You can watch on Instagram, uh, Hulu, every. I'm uh, not Hulu. Damn. <laughs> well, yeah, I just. One day. I just <laughs> we, al- we also have the one Tequila day. Rejon uh, Instagram, too. Tequila Rejon. Oh, there you go. No, so it's kind of like the same family. We also have Oro de Lidia, so it's kind of like. The girl dancing, we got the the bull, and then rejon, it's a rejoneada. They use the spear oh, to no. also do bullfighting. So it's all around bullfighting, That's basically. It's a party. You know, you know Gary, it's I a just party. so much tequila, mm-hmm. I just made a Hulu special. Made a Hulu special? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Patreon and Hulu. <laughs> Love yeah, it, Yeah, so thanks, everybody, for watching. Our sponsor is Margarita Texas, the quick and easy way to make a margarita. You can go to margaritatexas.com and enter tequila tester for 15% off of it. Um, did I say no high fructose corn syrup? You did not, but there uh, it you is. You have to say that. <laughs> you got to say that. say that. Gary? Yes. Good. Anywhere online, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, at G Hawkins. That's G Hawkins with a Z. Thank you. Peace. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.